when um, when David landed with the concept for our first single Lonely Road and we arranged a song we we both instinctively knew this was going to be a biker song it has this this vibe this flair and we're both somehow involved in scene so we know how hard it can be if you lose one of your own and it was clear that this was going to be a very very personal song Carved in stone your message on this room Suddenly we gaze at stars and mellow Mr. Moon All the trouble well, it is a very powerful song, an emotional song to play, and Rob does an amazing job in the vocals, bringing the song to life. It's a dramatic song, starting off slow and building up as the song progresses. That wasn't even a time. That was good. Ah, that was good, yeah. Yeah, Paid My Dues. Paid My Dues is just a... Yeah, it's just a down and out blues song arrangement around a killer riff that Davey came up with. Um, Davey provided vocals on this particular song as well, which has a brilliant groove and guarantees to get your feet tapping. Just a, just a real feel-good song. I remember one time in Memphis Drank the devil's poison and fooled around this song, really love this song as it kind of goes back to the roots of blues, a simple yet powerful chord structure and it tells the story of a guy who has paid his dues, cleared his debts and is catching the train to move on to the next town to start all over again, not having learned by his mistakes beforehand. This is the ballad on the album, again, structured around a melody and chord structure that Davey came into the studio with. And uh, although Davey had a few verses penned, I finished off the lyrics and I, it turned out to be a very beautiful piece of music. Well, we think anyway. Yeah, now this, this was a weird one because the chords and melody just seemed to come from nowhere. I always had this idea of a slow ballad type song but didn't realise how quick it would be to pen. Basically, the guy in the song has been through hell and back. Not literally, obviously, but emotionally to prove his love for the woman in his life. It's a love song, because every album needs to have one, and I suppose this was no exception. After all we've been is it a love song? Well, it's... it's well, is, it like, is, it, is it really a love song? I think it's a love song. It's, it's, it's about a man clinging on to the last remnants of his love life with his woman. Yeah, but she's a bitch. I see that's not very much here, is it? Oh well. Oh well. I ain't got no strength left to live this life of pain. Can't wait 
to get the band out live. We started, um, yeah, we started off with a few rehearsals with a stand-in drummer where Ron is absent and uh, it really sounds good. Um, there's this certain type of rawness that you can't really reproduce on the album, so yeah, brace yourselves. Bone your dog are coming. Oh! Forget folks, you can catch Boneyard Dog playing on the 25th of June at the Trickster 17th Annual Rally. Promises to be a great night. Hope to see you all there. Okay, then. We are set to play our show at the end of June here in Ireland and we're in the middle of organizing some appearances in Scandinavia and mainland Europe after that. So keep checking back on our website and social media and we will post any updates as soon as possible. Cheerio! It's been